good morning to everyone uh, this is dr partha sarvi research person in plant pathology so here i am going to take about the classes especially in the discipline of plant pathology and comes to the course curriculum uh, regarding to this tnpsc evo uh, course curriculum so uh, we are providing a virtual online class right now so this virtual online class curriculum itself it just includes the three integral parts one is the online classes the first part is online classes the second one is test series which includes mock test as well as lot of revision tests and third one is we are offering the study materials uh, for the revision as well as uh, for the backups we are providing a uh, well uh, well very good study materials so this is about the uh, uh, on virtual online course curriculum and comes to the uh, comes to the regular classes you can attend the class virtually so uh, if you you if you miss the class you can also attend the class by using the backup facility we are having the backup facility of all the videos whatever we are handling and also uh, you will have lot of reputed faculty for clarifying your doubts queries everything and after end of every classes you will have the slip test okay that is one of the peculiarity in this particular classes so uh, every slip test will be uh, evaluated and during the upcoming class next class before uh, starting the session the slip test will be discussed with the individual participants okay so based on the manner we are just revising every classes uh, particularly for the betterment of the candidate and meantime once the 50% portion have been completed you will have the mock test okay so every 50% of the portion the particular syllabus completed routinely there will be a few mock test and after completing the entire syllabus there will be a continuous mock test as well as a lot of revisions will be conducted for the betterment so in such a manner only this particular course was designed and comes to the plant pathology this is one of the important subject in agriculture there will be a lot of questions from plant pathology in every uh, evo exam so in that particular point we already prepared the notes for plant pathology and everything is made ready available for you so uh, in this regard i i would like to start the demo class right now so uh, comes to the first class i am going to take about uh, introduction and history of plant pathology so that is the first lecture present uh, in your evo syllabus so i would like to uh, take about this introduction and history of plant pathology and before taking this particular lecture already there will be a, a ready notes already there will be a ready book is available for uh, instant notes on plant pathology and microbiology which also comprises the point to ponder and lot of mcqs based on the previous exams from a uh, lot of public service commission everything is available in a single book like that the book is uh, stretched and uh, not only this book for all the subjects we are having a separate book for agriculture extension there might be a book economics there might be a book like with for each an individual subject there will be a book so this uh, study material will be very much useful to you whenever you are having the free time you can use it so let us enter into the subject so comes to the plant pathology okay so comes to the plant pathology so this is a branch of agricultural or biological sciences okay so mainly what we are dealing in plant pathology studying about the causes their etiology and their management these three things are mandatory in plant pathology so these three things jointly formed the discipline plant pathology so Uh, before starting the in depth lecture knowing uh, something uh, brief about the plant pathology is also there and the, uh, the origin of plant pathology is mandatory lot of exams they are asking so many questions about the history as well as the origin of plant pathology so comes to this origin of plant pathology the word plant pathology is originated from the greek language okay so the plant pathology word itself splitted into three halves okay plant okay that is uh, in greek word that means phyto phyton okay plant in greek word it is phyto and patho in greek word it is which means a diseases and in logos logos is also a greek word which means knowledge or discourse or study okay in such a manner the word itself there will be a three split up so there will be some questions about what is mean by phyto what is mean by patho what is mean by logos okay and which language it belongs to the word phyto pathology belongs to which language there will be some questions already we may we may have it was happened in so many question that so that's why this was focused on in such a manner so plant pathology means study of suffering plant it comprises three different words okay these things we have to uh, 
uh, focus and also the language where it was derived. Okay, this is the most important thing in this particular slide. And comes to the objectives of the plant pathology. What are the things we are going to study? What are the things we are doing? What the things? What we are what we are going to study? What we are doing routinely in plant pathology? So there will be a four important objectives. The first one is studying of biotic or living abiotic or non-living causes of diseases and disorders. Disorders also comes under the plant pathology in certain stages. Okay. So and the second important point is to study the mechanism of disease development by the pathogen. Okay, and the third important point to study the plant pathogen interaction in relation to environment. Even I can quote some best example for the second and third point. Right now we are facing the pandemic situation of COVID-19. The second point, mechanism of disease development. How the COVID-19 is expressing in our body system? That is the mechanism of disease development. And what are the environment which is favoring the disease development? That is the third point. Environment in the sense. If chilly condition or cold condition, we may expect a lot of severity of the diseases. That is the third point. Okay, based on the environmental condition. And fourth point, most important thing, methods of management of plant diseases. So ultimate thing is management. Okay, uh, ultimate thing is management. That is the most important thing. Still, we are expecting the vaccine for the COVID-19. Likewise, every plant is expecting their own management methods uh, for curing their own diseases. That is what main objectives in the plant pathology. So let us enter into the historical landmarks. Okay, a lot of landmarks are there. Even I can significantly say the origin of plant pathologies along with the plants and microbes. Okay, whenever the uh, origin of plants, it it is also associated with the microbes. If the microbes association shows that, there will be surely a disease occurrence. Okay, so the plant pathology origin is always associated with the plants. But even though we need lot of evidences, so based on the evidences. The landmarks in the plant pathology was uh, just described in five different periods, five different era. The first one is ancient era. The second one is dark era. Third one is autogenic and fourth pathogenic and fifth modern period. Whatever we are having, whatever the right present situation is going on, no, this is the modern period. So likewise, five different uh, period was divided into uh, landmarks of plant pathology and comes to the ancient era. That is the foundation for plant pathology. So. Uh, already several uh, texts, sacred texts, as well as some holy uh, books are just describing about the plant diseases as well as their management practices. Starting from the Rig Veda, Artha Sastra, Holy Bible, Sushruta Samhita, Vishnu Puran, Agni Puran, Rahu Amsha, Jadaka, these are all the sacred books or holy books which having an inscription regarding to the plant diseases as well as their management practices. And in continuation to this, Some significant events is also there. This particular event just supports the plant pathology for its own growth. Okay, so in such a manner, the one of the top most event which just led the foundation stone for the growth of plant pathology is Robi Gallia. Okay, Robi Gallia. Robi Gallia means that is a festival. Okay, that is a festival celebrated in the Rome. Okay, uh, during 700 BC. That is a festival celebrated in the Rome during 700 BC. To prevent the entry of disease rust. Okay, so this particular festival was started by the Roman king Numa Pompilus for just uh, devoting the goddess and god in the name of Robigo and Robigus. Okay, so still the festival is continuing in every April 25th in the Rome. You just imagine the time period. Okay, still the festival is continuing for just devoting the uh, god and goddess by sacrificing the dog. Okay. For preventing the particular rust disease. Likewise, this particular event also just giving a, a detailed description about the importance of plant pathology. And the next particular event, which was happened in the Rhine Valley during the year 1857. So this is the name of the event is still remembered. It is called as Saint Anthony's Fire or Holy Fire or Ergadism in the Rhine. Rhine is a crop. Ergadism in the Rhine. There will be lot of names. That's why I have given all the three names because sometimes in exam point of view. They may ask about Saint Anthony's fire. Sometimes the question may be about the holy fire. Sometimes they are asking about the Elgadism. That's why I just given all the names, whatever present in the previous question paper. Based on the previous question paper, I just mentioned all the names, all the three different names for this particular disease. What happened due to this disease is that uh, if the person, if the people have consumed the disease affected, okay, the Clavicus purpurea pathogen affected grains means automatically they will get the gangrene. Or migraine, as well as some severe uh, disorders in the health. Okay. Meanwhile, the ultimately it will cause the death. Okay. Within 45 days, this was happened in the early earlier period. So, 
this is also a second foundation step for the growth of plant pathology likewise a lot of events happened in the european nations as well as south african nations for the growth of plant pathology uh, these two things one is the robigalia another one is the saint anthony's fly this is also one of the most important things in case of the examination point of view and comes to the important books uh, i have already i have described about the rigveda to arthashastra a lot of books and comes to the important books written about the plant pathology is vriksha ayurveda vriksha means tree ayurveda means diseases vriksha ayurveda the book was uh, wrote during 1000 uh, ad uh, this book was written by the saint surapal okay in this particular book there will be interestingly uh, description about the symptoms of plant diseases how can we manage the plant diseases by using a natural product uh, in such a manner the book was designed one of the excellent book still it is available the book is still available so this book is one of the important book written uh, about the plant pathology in india especially in india the book was from the indian origin and followed by this is the first book and followed by the first pathogen reported in the world the first pathogen reported in the world is mistletoe okay mistletoe is a paranogamic parasite panerogamic parasite okay so it was first reported by the person albertus magnus during 1200 ad okay he only described about this particular first pathogen in the plant okay so this was denoted as a first pathogen uh, so in in addition in the dark era itself you may know about the father of botany uh, the name of the father of botany is theophrastus so he just studied and written a lot of texts about the diseases of trees cereals and legumes in his book uh, the name of the book is enquiry into the plants okay so the particular book enquired a lot of diseases in the particular plant okay so even it contains nearly more than uh, 200 diseases in his book in such a manner he has written the book that is also one of the important event in plant pathology okay this all the things happened in the dark era okay and comes to the dark era as well as the ancient era and comes to the next art pathogenic and autogenic and modern era so after uh, the dark era there will be a origin of the autogenic era as well as the pathogenic era in the pathogenic era uh, they just started describing about the pathogens the identification of pathogens have been started okay so the identification of pathogen is originated mainly because of the discovery of microscope without microscope we won't see any microorganism so once after the discovery of microscope only the discovery of pathogen was initiated so the first important event for the discovery of microorganism is the discovery of compound microscope it was discovered by the scientist uh, van leeuwenhoek who is still considered as a father of microscopy as well as the father of microbiology in the particular slide it is said the first discovered microscope is also there the first discovered bacterial cells also there okay so this one given a uh, birth to microbiology as well as plant pathology okay so after to him the italian scientist botanist uh, p a michelli he only proposed the fungi comes from the spores that is a concept or the theory he only said that the fungus comes from the spores clearly they were thought that the fungus is from the breathing of the snakes as well as breathing of the animals but he just uh, declared openly says that the fungus is come from the spores in the environment and he also published the book the name of the book is important in case of the examination point of view the nova plantara genirum okay nova plantara genirum that is the name of the book the book itself having nearly uh, 1900 species which includes the 900 uh, species of fungus also so because of his contribution in the mycology he is considered as a founder and father of mycology so he is considered as a founder and father of mycology and comes to the next scientist french botanist uh, the name of the scientist is uh, mathieu pillet okay simply he uh, everyone knows about his name in the form of pillet and he published a lot of papers about the burnt or stinking smart of wheat okay so he discovered the particular disease in the wheat that's why he is considered as a great grandfather of phytopathology so he is considered as a great grandfather of phytopathology and in in follow to him okay so many scientists worked on the fungi for the discovery of organism as well as for the discovery of some other uh, metabolites as well as uh, designed the management practices and in one such a way the ib prevost he also shown the bunte disease was caused by the fungus okay and followed to him there is another scientist this, uh, who, who wrote the important book called as systema mycologicum the name of the book is systema mycologicum 
and it was written by the scientist e m price price e m price so because of this particular book he is considered as linnaeus of mycology linnaeus of mycology as well as founder of modern fungal taxonomy because in this particular uh, book he just described about the classifications of fungi taxonomy of fungi that's why he is called as linnaeus of mycology or founder of modern fungal taxonomy okay so likewise uh, several important books was written by so many scientists starting from the nova plantarum generum system of mycology and even in india we are having vriksha ayurveda likewise so many books was originated especially in the field of plant pathology and mycology and comes to the management okay it was started during 1820 21 by the scientist robertson okay so he is a well known scientist he just used the sulfur for the management of peach powder mildew in england okay so he used the sulfur for the management of peach powder mildew in england this is the first fungicide uh, unofficially reported unofficially formed okay this is the first use of chemicals for the management of plant diseases and followed by okay there is a scientist the name of the scientist is louis rene tulasne okay he is called as reconstructor of mycology and he worked along with his brother charles tulasne and gave a idea about the polymorphism in fungi and made a diagrams of the rust smut and some arthromycetes fungi so based on his uh, drawings only we come to know how the fungus looks like and what is the key factor for the identification of the diseases everything based on his uh, contribution only we come to know so that's why he is considered as a reconstructor of mycology and follow to him okay the vrikshoravada is first book of plant diseases in india but worldwide the first textbook in plant pathology is the disease of cultivated crop their causes and their control okay i repeat the disease of cultivated crop their causes and their control written by the scientist j g kun uh, why i am repeating this particular uh, book is most of the exam they are asking this particular question what is the first textbook in plant pathology this is the question repeatedly uh, we are facing in lot of uh, exams so this particular book was written by the scientist j g kun okay and after to him okay there will be one of the important person the name of the scientist is anton deberry okay so he is from the germany uh, he is uh, he only discovered the disease late blight of potato and he only described about the pathogen of the particular disease uh, the name of the pathogen is phytophthora infestans so because of his uh, particular contribution in the plant pathology he is considered as a father of modern plant pathology so Uh, he contributed a lot in the discipline of plant pathology he reported the heterogeneous nature of wheat smutrous pathogen life cycle of uridinales as well as histidinales and he did lot of research on fly mold especially the downy mildew damping of as well as this red blight of potato and also he coined so many terms okay importantly symbiosis as well as mycetozoa hostorium this were the important terms coined by him okay so based on his intensive brief research on plant pathology about the plant pathogens as well as the diseases he was considered as a father of modern plant pathology so this particular uh, man is responsible for the origin of plant pathology or exploitation of plant pathology in the entire world so uh, after to him his students spread over the entire world okay so from europe his students spread over the entire world and just did lot of intensive work and just grown up the particular field plant pathology so uh, let me mark some important students to him the first one is uh, robert hartig so he published the book in the name of important diseases of forest trees he worked a lot of research on forest pathology that's why he is called as father of forest pathology okay and next to him the another scientist oscar burfold okay he discovered the method method of artificial culturing of microorganism okay the lab culturing of microorganism he devised the lot of microbiological media so that is his contribution and next one ms voronin okay he is also the student of uh, anton deberry so he discovered and named the pathogen that causes the club root of cabbage and the name of the pathogen is plasmodiophora brassica you may study about this club root of cabbage as well as the plasmodium brassica during your ug but even though this is the most important occasion so you have to recall it again and again because in examination point of view there might be some questions from the club root of cabbage so he just described about the life cycle of potato wart disease as well as worked on the sunflower rust diseases also okay so follow to him okay 
one of the important event in plant pathology is discovery of bodo mixture okay you may know about the bodo mixture one of the excellent fungicide discovered during 1885 still the fungicide is exist in the market okay that much uh, uh, broad spectrum action it possesses okay that is the importance of the bodo mixture it was uh, developed against the grape vine downy mildew disease that is the introduced disease in europe from the us so for managing this particular uh, grape vine downy mildew the bodo mixture was developed okay so the this particular bodo mixture was uh, designed by the scientist pma millard okay he is a professor in uh, botany he is working in the university of uh, bodo okay bodo is the name of the university he worked in the university of bodo so in that particular university he just devised this particular mixture for managing the disease okay that is one of the uh, pioneer contribution in plant pathology okay and in addition to this there is a one more scientist uh, named as hm ward okay the name of the scientist is hm ward he worked on the life cycle of coffee leaf first okay that is one of the important disease in africa sri lanka as well as our uh, south indian hill ranges okay especially wherever we are cultivating coffee so Uh, due to his significant contribution in the coffee leaf rust he is considered as a father of tropical plant pathology so uh, he is also one among the students of the anton deberry so likewise uh, so many scientists supported for the growth of plant pathology generally okay and in addition to this uh, during 1885 the scientist ab frank he defined and named the mycorrhizal association in the plant roots okay that is put forth the dis- discovery of am fungi okay am fungi is the association of the fungi as well as the trees or plants okay mutualistic association or symbiotic association so that particular uh, discovery was done by this particular scientist ab frank okay and come to the indian scenario this are all the contributions of scientists who have developed the plant pathology worldwide and come to the indian scenario in india also the plant pathology was developed by the foreign scientist only the name of the scientist is ej butler uh, he becoming a mycologist from the london he just worked in the imperial agriculture research institute at pusa okay and he wrote the monograph in the name of indian wheat rust and published the book in the name of fungi and disease in plants okay and he intensively studied about lot of indian fungi especially more than 150 species and their diseases he have documented so uh, he only just developed the discipline plant pathology throughout the india okay he just uh, worked in the entire indian states as well as he just detected a lot of diseases and reported a lot of diseases in the international level and due to his significant contribution in the indian plant pathology he is considered or called as father of indian plant pathology okay uh, still he is called as father of plant pathology after his period in india he went back to the uk london and he was appointed as a first director of imperial bureau of mycology now the name of the institute is commonwealth mycological institute as well as again it was renamed into international mycological institute he was the first director for uh, uh, that reputed institute likewise uh, so many scientists in india also worked for this uh, development of plant pathology and comes to the management aspect management of plant diseases this was just started by the scientist uh, sir alexander fami who discovered the penicillin from the fungus penicillin notatum and also who received the nobel prize in medicine and physiology for the discovery of this uh, nobel uh, antibiotic penicillin this was the first thing uh, which proposed the discovery of lot of fungicide nematicide insecticide antibiotic for the management of pests and pathogens uh, in the entire world okay this was the first foundation and followed to him the official fungicide the first official fungicide was discovered by Fitzgerald and Williams okay that is the organic fungicide the name of the fungicide is alkyl dithiocarbamate okay that was the name of the fungicide and apart from the fungicide we can also manage the disease by using the resistant development innate immunity development so the innate immunity is purely depends on the genes present in the plant body system so another scientist who come forward and did a lot of research on the gene for gene hypothesis in the flax rust for developing the resistance so in such a manner lot of scientists have worked for the betterment as well as the growth of plant pathology so in the examination point of view there may be a questions about the penicillin who discovered the penicillin in which year uh, it was discovered as well as who coined the term uh, mycorrhiza who is the father of plant pathology in india who is the father of plant pathology at the global level and likewise lot of questions will be there 
so to uh, combat all these things you have a thorough knowledge of this particular history as well as development in plant pathology so let me finish with this uh, right now for this demo class and we will see again in the normal virtual classes in the upcoming so i hope uh, this was enough enough right now so thank you thank you one and all thank you